All right, so kids, remember when we sent these number charts home? Mm -hmm. And you were supposed to work, them at, uh, work on them at home? They came in your Tuesday folder. I know Gabriel worked on his because he brought it back the next day and he said, I can do this. Cadence, did you practice this at home? Good girl. Cole, what about you? Did you practice this at home? Nice. And Savannah, did you practice at home? I did It's okay. And Peyton, did you work on this at home? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see who I'm going to hand these out and we'll practice saying our numbers and I'll be watching you. And if you're pretty good at your numbers, then I will put a big blue square on the chart over there and then kids, you will get a new list, okay? I'll show you how this works. Two, um, five, three, four, 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 one, four, two, three, four, wait, one, um, two, five. Okay, mister, I think you know those numbers. What do you think? Okay, so we'll get you a new chart. Okay. Two, two, three, two, four, Good. Can you start right here again for me? Yeah, just with a quiet voice. Kaden, stop for a minute. I think you know those numbers. What do you think? That means I'm going to give you a new chart and it'll be called chart two. Let's see you. Break nine, ten, eight, nine, seven, zero, nine, ten, four, ten, three, four, five, seven, two, one, ten, ten, eight, three, zero, four, five, two. Stop right there. Are you good at chart number three? Yes. Yes, I think you know all those numbers, so I'm going to be giving you chart number four. Oh, wow. Okay. I get bigger number than one. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, five, three, five. You're doing good, honey. Keep going. Try not to move your finger. Don't cover it up, point under it so your eyes can see it. Yeah, fancy one. Don't cover it up with your finger. Fancy four. Okay. All right, Savannah, you're doing great. Keep practicing. All right, honey, let's try you. A little louder. Five, three, two, five, four, two, one. Keep going, uh huh? Three, two, four, three, five, two. I don't want to come. Okay, that hurts right now. Practicing, honey. Five, on, huh? um, two, one, one, two, two, three, four. I didn't hear this one. Good. I would say that you know those, right? <gasps> That's exciting. So look, instead of chart one, now I'm going to move you to chart two, okay? Okay. Just colored these in in front of the kids and explained how the chart works. He passed list one today, so I'm giving him a new list. Numbers six through ten on September 2nd. The list numbers down there at the bottom. Okay. Now they just said something like Gabriel is ahead of all of us, which is a great thing to notice already. Typically kindergartners don't notice stuff like that, but if they do, it motivates them a little bit. So I am now going to prepare their new lists. So I am now have handed out their new list to them so they can practice a little bit and I can help them while I 
prepare their next list to send home. So this is all it takes to prepare her new list is this note that we already have prepared. I put her new list on there. I attached this and I'm going to send this home with her today in her backpack. We will learn, thank you. We will learn as time goes on if families are looking in the backpacks, if which kids are the type to get this out and say, hey, I have a new list to practice. Um, or actually, we're calling them charts. Um, and if they're just not the type of kid or family who gets stuff out of the backpack, then we will instead send these home in the Tuesday folders because families are um, trained or do get trained pretty quickly to look in there. So I'm going to go ahead and send these home today on a Thursday and we will see um, if anyone brings them back tomorrow or the next day um, to tell us they're ready to try to pass it. If they're not ready um, or if they don't do anything like that, then we'll just wait until another day um, like today when we're doing centers and then we can see if they've made enough progress to pass. Savannah, I love how you just keep practicing and practicing. Colt, hey, take this and put it in your backpack. Wait, and you have to get it out at your house and say, look, I got a new number chart to practice. Okay? Okay. All right, thanks. So these girls, these girls have moved on from chart one to chart two. They are struggling with these numbers a little bit, which makes sense because we've really only been working with zero through five. And that is what our math program, Bridges, focuses on for the first several weeks, um, even maybe a couple months of school. So, you know, if they don't get these until we actually work on them, in class, that's okay. It won't be a concern. But if I send them home, that'll help. They can get a head start on them. Or if they're the type of kid that already knows these numbers, it lets them move on to something more challenging.